Morning! I've got something really, really fun to do today. I'm gonna paint my old track frame, this, that I used to race on at Red Hook Crit. Um, I've got sent some really, really cool colours by Spray Bike. So, I'll talk you through the whole process. I'm gonna prep my frame, and then I'm gonna get some of these lovely colours on. <coughs> So first things first, I've got to prep the frame. Now there are a couple of layers of paint on this because it was actually a green Cannondale that Charge painted black uh, so that I could race in it because I was sponsored by Charge at the time. Um, I'm gonna start off with some really, really coarse sandpaper. That'll get the bulk of the paint off. This is grade 40. And then you go up to start using finer sandpaper the closer you get to the finish because you want it to be really, really silky smooth um, so that the paint goes on evenly. So I'm going to start doing this. Well, actually, I've done a bit of it already. I will continue doing this. Takes ages. I've decided to move outside because obviously it's stupid standing inside your living room. But anyway, uh, I've done a bit more work as you can see and Dave's done a bit as well. We started off with the 60 grade sandpaper and that's really good for just getting all the big bits of paint off and any place where it's chipped you know right down to the metal you want to go over that with the 60 grade paper then basically you start moving onto a finer sandpaper otherwise you're going to end up with um scratches all over the frame so i've moved up to um 320 basically the higher the number of the sandpaper the finer the grade is so you want to go higher 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 till eventually you finish off by using a circular motion with a really fine grade paper and that's going to make your frame really really smooth so then it'll be ready for painting. <laughs> so one other thing you've got to do of course is remove uh, your dropouts before you do any painting because you don't want to be painting over those so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. I have now prepped the frame completely with a bit of help from Dave. It's really time consuming process um, and I've sanded it all the way down, cleaned it off and obviously I'm holding it with a glove so I don't get greasy fingerprints on it because that will stop the paint from adhering properly. And um, I've masked off uh, the bottom bracket, headset, I'm trying not to touch it here. Uh, so now it's time to paint and we've rigged up a pretty comedy painting booth. Come and have a look. Uh, it's snowing and it's recommended that you don't paint um, when it's wet or cold but I really want to do it now is that stupid so stupid isn't do? it what are you gonna do I'm gonna do it now <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, it was raining when I painted mine okay again. cool welcome to the spray booth it's very high tech so I've got my base coat can you hear what I'm saying no idea um, I've got my That's base fine. coat and um, I'm going to practice on this piece of metal here before I go straight onto my fork because I've not used this paint before. I've never spray painted a bike. Um, I heard you've got to go in really close. So, <laughs> go, there's a cat coming out the cat flap. Don't come over here. So, I'm going to try it on this piece of metal, right? One straight movement, not backwards and forwards. Really? Yes. Like, okay. That's like the most I've never painted before. Yeah, that's it. I have never painted before. <laughs> Come on! Right, I'm gonna do my fork. Da, da, da. Is she gonna mess it up? Probably! there <laughs> see the good thing about this paint is you can go really slowly and close like that and it dries like with normal rubbish paint it would run like mad doing this this paint is designed to be used close Okay, I'm going to leave it to dry now. It dries super duper quickly, so then I can go over and... Well, actually, should I... Yeah, I need to give it another coat, right? Yeah, I'd give it a light one. Um, right, time to do the frame. It's quite awkward, like I said before, we don't have a proper stand, so I'm going to have to we'll hold it. Back so you can see how, much, how, how little room. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
yeah it's quite tight in here and I don't have a stand so I'm gonna to have to hold it and spray it I'm just gonna do my best I mean this is just a fun project it's not like I'm trying to make a show bike or sell it or something so if it looks nice cool if I mess it up so what so I'm just gonna start spraying uh, paint remember little little quick spray upside down for a couple of seconds on the wall there the novel there you go right da, da, da. don't <laughs> Don't F it up. Go too quick. No, you No? That's spot on. Right. It's really hard holding the bloody thing. Yeah, try it on the size 59 for us. <laughs> How's it going in there? Oh great! It's really fun and it's looking good. There's a funny bit here that I'm going to have to sand and redo. I don't know what's happened there but it's, it's going good. The paint's so easy to use. So I've now um, base coated the whole frame. Well this isn't actually a base coat, it's just the base colour that I chose. Um, and I did a couple of coats. I think I did an alright job. It's actually really easy, easy to use paint. But I did make a bit of an error here where, um, because I don't have a stand and I'm doing it in a tiny, tiny shed, you have to swap the bike around in your hands and spray it whilst you're holding it. And I, I held a wet bit. So I've tried to sand down this fingerprint and I've also gone over the whole frame with a really fine grade sandpaper to make it as smooth as possible. Next job is to use this car masking tape to mask off some of the areas that I want to remain this colour and then I will paint the other colours using uh, the purples and pinks and nice colours that I've got. Um, so it's kind of hard to work out the design in your head because you're kind of doing it in reverse. So it, what you mask off remains this colour and, and to me it's sort of hard to get my head around what to do. Right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I do know what to do. It's just kind of scary because I, I, I say oh, I'm not bothered, but obviously I kind of do want it to look nice. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And also, I've got this idea, basically. The idea is that I want to have like um, these cream stripes and in between the stripes, I want to have blocks of colour. But um, obviously the tube is cylindrical and the tape is, I don't know, I just don't know how it'll work, but I'll try. Yeah. Problem is, Daddy, my design is not going to work. Because there's no way, you, like, basically if I want to do a stripe from here to here in cream, well you can't because if you try and wrap the tape around, like, you can't make it meet up there. Do you see what I mean? Like, <laughs> you just can't. So, back to the drawing board. Right, I've run into a bit of a problem with this project. Really wanted to paint the entire thing, show you that on the video, but I, my design doesn't work and uh, I can't really figure out what I want to do. I've got these really lovely coloured paints. Pink green and purple I just need to figure out what to do with them the other issue the re a real problem and reason why I can't paint right now is because it's absolutely torrential rain <laughs> <laughs> and I can't go in and out of the shed with um, a bike with wet paint on it in the rain it's just going to get totally ruined so I'm going to do it next week um, and that means I can ask you guys what design I should do. What do you think? Have you got any really good ideas for me? I'd like to do something really bright, fun and eye-catching and obviously that's easy enough because I've got these really cool coloured paints but what design should I go for? Leave me your suggestions in the comments below and yeah, nothing like crazy, crazy complicated because I've never done this before and um, yeah, so... Not so simple that it's boring, but not so complicated that it's going to be impossible. 
Um, thanks for watching. Do let me know what you think I should do with my bike. I need your ideas and uh, catch you next week. Bye.